Hi, this is Scott Trudeau, Solutions Consultant with Adobe, and today I'm going to be talking about importing your video or getting your video into Adobe Premiere Elements 11. Here you can see Adobe Premiere Elements 11 is currently open. I love the look of the new user interface. I think it's fantastic. And uh, some of the things that we'd like to do, for example, is bring in the video after we've taken it with our cameras. So to do that, we have two modes inside of Premiere Elements 11. When, you, when I say modes, think of them as editing rooms. We have the quick editing room and the expert editing room. And the quick editing room and the expert editing room handle the way they import video a little bit different. And I think it makes sense because in quick mode, quickly want to cobble together a movie and get it out. Expert mode, you want a little bit more control. So let's talk about some of the differences in bringing in your video or importing your video into Premiere Elements 11. In both modes, you're going to have this Add Media button over here on the left-hand side. So I'm going to select the Add Media button, and you can see that we have the traditional devices that you may want to get video from and import them in. In this case, we're going to assume that you took the video off of your camera or your capturing device and placed it on your computer somewhere in a file or folder. So I'm going to choose Add Media from Files or Folders. Also notice that I'm on Quick Mode. So I'm going to choose to um, add some media. I'm going to go into and find the, the video files that I want to capture. So here we have, you know, we'll say about five different video files that we want to capture. We're going to take those and import them in. Now notice in quick mode that when I choose import, what it does is it imports the files in the order that I selected them. So if you selected them one by one, uh, they'll just bring them in to the timeline and place them directly on the timeline. So each one of those clips was placed directly on the timeline in the order that I selected them and placed into Premiere Elements. Now I'm gonna select one of these clips and or select them all and delete them and basically undoing that step. I'm gonna jump into expert mode and we're gonna do the same steps. So I'm gonna choose add media. I'm gonna come to files and folders. I'm gonna go find the media that I wanted to select and once we find the media what we'll do is we'll select the exact same clips and choose to import those into our Premiere Elements project and you're gonna see they did not place those clips directly on the timeline like what happened in quick mode rather they place them in our projects assets bin which becomes available to us in expert mode so Premiere assumes that if you're in expert mode you wish to have a little bit more control of how those were imported, those video clips are imported into Premiere Elements. And now that you have this control, you can take those clips from your projects bin and move them down onto your timeline. So in quick mode, it quickly places all the video clips right in your timeline in the order they were selected. In expert mode, it takes those clips and places those into the project's asset bin, then giving you manual control of placement onto your timeline. Now that's not to say in quick mode you can't move these clips around. You can always grab the clip and, and move them around and place them in the order that you would like. But it just is a little bit different between quick and expert mode. I wanted you to be aware of that problem. Or not that problem, I would say it's uh, features built into Premiere Elements to make quick mode that much quicker. I'm gonna go ahead and clear this uh, the clear the clips that we just brought in and, and show you one other way to bring in assets from uh, into Premiere Elements as well. So now I'm in quick mode. If I choose to add media, this time from the Elements Organizer and Elements Organizer, it's almost like an, an additional application that ships with Premiere Elements. And I'm gonna choose these uh, first four clips. And the organizer organizes your video and your audio and your pictures and the organizer shared between also Photoshop elements. I think it's a great little application for organizing your media. So I'm going to select the clips that we have and then I can simply right click on the clips and choose to edit those with Premiere Elements or I can come down to the very bottom and click on the uh, editor button and it'll send it over to Premiere Elements as well or you can choose what you want to edit it uh, by either the video editor or photo editor. In this case we want to send it to the video editor and it's going to bring those clips because we're in quick mode and place those onto our timeline. Very similar to the way the folders handles the clips. I'm gonna select all those and delete them. 
Now I'm going to jump into expert mode and show you the same steps. In this case, I'm going to go into the organizer. I'm going to choose the same clips, and we'll bring those in to the video editor. But two things happen. One, it places them into the project assets bin, and it also places them in the order selected right onto our timeline. So it behaves a little bit different between the organizer and the files and folders. Files and folders brings them only into the project's asset bin then gives you manual control. Whereas if you use the organizer, it's going to put them both in the project's asset bin and on the timeline. So now that you're aware of how Premiere Elements imports video into your project and the differences between quick and expert mode, I think it'll be a little bit easier for you to start editing and building out your story. Thanks, I'm Scott Trudeau, Solutions Consultant with Adobe, and have a great 2013.